All right, guys, I'm gonna take you through day three of Benchmark Week. We're gonna start off with three power clean singles at 60% of your body weight. So if you're a 200 pound male, you would need to do 120 pounds three times, all right? From there, you go to a one rep max power clean, and if you can do 100% of your body weight, so if you're a 200 pound male, you can clean, power clean 200 pounds, then you go to a one rep max squat clean, all right? Now, remember, you need to start with the, the singles if you were not here last time. So whether you were just new to the gym, uh, you started in the last couple months, or um, you just missed last uh, benchmark week, you're gonna still start with those three singles. Um, kind of think of it as a warm warmup um, in, that, in a sense, okay? And then from there, you go to a one rep max power clean, um, and then onto the squat clean. Now, not everybody needs to do a squat clean, all right? Uh, just because you're able to power clean your body weight, uh, maybe you do not feel comfortable getting into a full squat when you do the clean. That's okay, you can stick with the power clean if necessary. Uh, from there, we're gonna go into some upper body pulling. So we have un 12 unbroken vertical strap ring pulls. Uh, then you're gonna go to strict pull-ups, uh, kipping pull-ups, chest to bar, bar muscle-ups, and then ring muscle-ups, all right? So on those vertical strap pull-ups, it's just like it sounds, the, ver the straps need to be vertical, so they need to be straight up and down, all right? So not you know leaning uh, one way um, or the other. They, the straps need to be straight up and down, and then you will do uh, your ring pulls, bringing the ring uh, to your chest. I know this was really a challenge for, for a lot of us. I know uh, several of us completed it, and I know some of us got kind of close. We were in kind of that eight to nine range, so let's see if we can get those last three to four reps this time. Now, if you struggled uh, with this last time and you could only get two or three reps, that's fine. I still want you to test it. Let's see how many reps you got, and then I want you to get um, give it three attempts, all right? So maybe the first set you're able to get six, but then after that you only can get five, um, and then you get six again. Um, that's okay, we can measure that from our progress from last time, and we can also write it down to see how we improve for the next time when we do ring pulls, all right? And then finally, we've got the upper body uh, pushing, so we've got unbroken push-ups, 10 reps for males, seven for females, Then you're gonna go uh, five nose to wall, wall walks uh, in 90 seconds, and then a strict, or a 90 second handstand hold, then uh, strict handstand push-ups, then unbroken handstand push-ups, um, and then back to strict, handstand push-ups and de unbroken deficit handstand push-ups. Now on the push-ups, chest and hips need to touch the ground, no thighs, um, or excuse me, chest needs to touch the ground, no hips and thighs need to touch the ground, so no warming up, no collapsing at the bottom, it's just that chest touching. And here's a reminder, this is my chest, this is my belly, this is my chest, this is my belly, so no belly buttons touching, okay, just our chest um, as you do that. If you're unable to do it from the ground, well, that's fine. Let's do the incline push-up bars, all right? And let's see how low we can get it down to the ground um, for those reps for 10 for males and 7 for females.